Hello, welcome to this quick video on one-click remote application deployment in Oracle Apex. My name is Chaitanya and I'm the product manager for Oracle Apex. Today, I'm going to show you how to perform remote application deployment in Oracle Apex. Let us first try to understand what this feature is all about. Starting Apex 21, you can deploy your application along with supporting object definitions to another workspace or to your workspace in a remote Oracle Apex instance. For example, instead of exporting the application from your dev instance along with the supporting objects and then moving to your stage instance and then importing this application, you can straight away from within your dev instance with just one click, you can move the application along with supporting objects to your stage instance. One-click remote application deployment leverages the Oracle REST Data Services REST Enable SQL Service. To use this feature, a developer simply REST enables the schema associated with the target workspace. You can do this in SQL Workshop RESTful Services. Now let us take a quick look at the prerequisites for the one-click remote application deployment. Both the source and the target system must have Apex 21 or above installed. The source system from where you're going to perform the remote application deployment must be configured to access RESTful services. This is done by your DBA. Your DBA will configure a network access control list to permit outbound web service calls from your Apex instance and also will create a wallet on the database server. Instance administrator will then configure the wallet attributes on the instance settings page. The target system must include odds 19x or later. The schema on your target instance workspace should be enabled for use with odds RESTful data services. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to move my application from my dev instance to the staged instance. To get started with, I would first navigate to the staged instance and I go to SQL Workshop, the click RESTful services. You see that the schema is not registered with odds, so click register schema with odds. Make sure that the enable restful access is turned on. And you can also install the sample service, then click save schema attributes. Now you see a message that the schema is enabled for use with odds restful services and also that the sample restful service is successfully installed. In the dev instance, let us first create a demo EMP table and then create an application on top of this table. Once the application is created, then we will do a one-click remote application deployment of this application along with the underlying database object to the target instance. In my working directory, I have the demo EMP table.sql, which has the demo EMP table definition along with the insert statements. Let's first go to SQL Workshop. Go to SQL scripts, click upload, choose file, and then upload this demo emp table.sql. Enter a script name and then click upload. Now run this script so that the demo emp table is created and also the sample data is inserted. Click run now. The table has been created, so let's navigate to SQL Workshop. Go to Object Browser, click Demo EMP, and then see the data. Come to Table again, and then we see Create App. Click Create App. Give a name to your application, for example, Employees App, and then click Create Application. The application is created and then let's click run application to see how the application looks like. The application has a dashboard, a demo EMP search page, a demo EMP report page and a calendar. Now you want to deploy this application to the stage instance. Let's first navigate to supporting objects. You want to add the installation scripts, so click installation scripts. Click Create. You already have the demo EMP table.sql. Click Next. 
choose the demo mptable.sql and click create script. Your application is now ready for remote deployment. So let's go to application homepage, go to exporting port. Now here you see remote deployment, click remote deployment. You want to create a new REST enabled SQL service now. So click the plus icon, enter a name. Now navigate to your stage instance. You already have the sample service installed here. So expand modules, click MP info and copy the full URL. Go to your development instance and paste this URL for endpoint URL. Make sure that the endpoint URL includes the odds context root and the schema URL prefix. Click next. Give a name for credentials. You can choose between OAuth 2 client credentials or basic authentication. In this demo, you choose basic authentication. You do not want to store credentials at the moment, so just click create. Now for deployment server, select the one that you just created. Enter the client ID and secret, which is the database username and password for the deployment schema. Click next. You're now in the remote deployment options page. For export supporting object definitions, select yes and install and import automatically. You want to override the existing application and just click deploy. Your application is successfully deployed to remote server. So now navigate to your stage instance, go to app builder, you see that the application has been successfully deployed. Run this application. You see all of the pages and also that the data has been loaded in. Now let us make some changes to the application in the development instance. For example, let us add a chart and also let us add a column to the demo EMP table. Let's navigate to the development instance. Go to SQL Workshop. Click SQL Scripts. Click Upload. And then pick the demo emp update.sql from your working directory. Click upload. Just run the script. Click run now. We now have the table alter with the new column has been added in and also with the sample data. Now let's add a chart to the application. Navigate to app builder. Go to the application homepage. Click create page, select chart, accept the default bar chart and click next. Enter salary by department for page name, select breadcrumb, click next. Select create a new navigation menu entry. Click next and for table select demo AMP. Click next. For label column select department number. Value aggregation is sum. And for value column select salary and say create. Now let's run the page. Now that we made the changes in the development instance, before we push these changes to the staged instance, let us add upgrade scripts under supporting objects. Navigate to the application homepage, click supporting objects, and then click upgrade scripts, click create, click create from file, enter a name, click next. Click choose file, navigate to the working directory and then select demo emp update.sql file and say click create script. The script is now created and a query to detect existing supporting objects, enter the select statement, select object name from sys user objects where object name is equals to demo emp and say apply changes. 
Now let us apply these changes to the staged instance. We will be overwriting the existing application in the staged instance and also upgrade the database objects. Go to the application homepage, click export import, click remote deployment, and for deployment server, select Apex stage and say next. For export supporting object definitions, select S yes and install and import automatically. We want to override the existing application on the target system. So turn on override existing application and say deploy. The application is successfully deployed to the remote server. Now navigate to the deployment workspace. Go to SQL workshop, object browser, click demo EMP table and you notice that the country column has been added over there. Now let's go to app builder again and then run the employees app application and you see salary by department chart over there. In this video you learn how to use the one click remote application deployment wizard in Apex to easily deploy your application along with the supporting object definitions to your remote Apex instance. Thank you for watching this video.